Hi, and welcome back here on the Senior Network. We're having fun as usual and talking about downsizing, Becky. I know yeah. you've, you're an expert at that. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, downsizing is a, a very important part about moving to the Cyprus. Um, in fact, I've been in the business for 30 some years. I know you're shocked. I know you probably think I started this when I was 10. But um, I, one thing I've always, I can almost use as um, a, a benchmark, people downsize about a third when they're moving to the Cyprus. Okay, so let's, what does that look like? So if you're currently in a 3,000 square foot home, which is probably pretty average homes, I guess, right. maybe in Hilton Head, um, people downsize to about 2,000 square feet. So what does 2,000 square feet look like at the Cypress? Well, that could be a two-bedroom, two-bath home or a two-bedroom, two-bath villa, which, you know, apartment. Um, and, but the, the head-scratcher for most of my folks is how do I get from 3,000 to 2,000? And how can I do that within like a 60 to 90-day period? Because, with all this stuff. Right, with all this stuff. Yeah. And they have a closing that they have to meet. And they're trying to sell their home. Right. It's a little overwhelming. Let's face it, it's hard to move at any age, oh, right? That's a lot of work. That's yeah. why I've been in the same house for over 20 years, because I'm, I'm afraid to move because <laughs> of all that. However, that being said, um, there is sort of a time period that these folks have to, you know, move to the Cypress, close and move. So how do we get them from 3,000 to 2,000? And like, I, and like you said, there's lots of clutter that we have to, um, people have to deal with. So we've aligned ourselves with Coastal Coordinators, a company on the island that helps in actually coordinating the clutter um, and downsizing. And what they'll do is they'll come in, it's sort of a buffet of choices. You can ask them to pack you. You can ask them to unpack you when you come to the Cyprus. You can ask them to get up in your attic and get all the things out of your attic and take it to um, the charitable organizations um, or, or um, consignment stores. Um, and we actually um, give all of our folks moving to the Cyprus a list of movers, um, charitable organizations, um, and consignment stores just to help them be armed and knowledgeable on how to get, ri get rid of some of their quote unquote sure. stuff. Um, and the Cypress, we pay for 10 hours of, for, with coastal coordinators um, and that's a, that is a very organ organized person going in and getting them, you know, sure. getting rid of all that clutter right. and things like that. That way it helps them get over the hump because we're such a slave to our stuff, aren't we? Oh yes. I mean, you're just like, oh, I have this, you know, Christmas ornaments that I've had, you know, for decades and, or whatever, you know, we all, we all covet certain things. Sure. And um, so these coastal coordinator ladies help go in and, and help them with that. And it's been just terrific. Um, and then <clears throat> once they move to the Cyprus, if they still uh, feel like they're overwhelmed and they brought too many things, typically people do, right. you know, too many chairs or whatever, uh, we'll help them dispose of those as well. Right. It's a big help when children are involved in this process, and we usually, yeah, they we usually have the, help. yeah, they usually help, and they they're the very, so, yeah, they yeah. sell the disputes. <laughs> you know, the thing is, the children, we have so much stuff of our own that we don't need anymore either, but they do help with those sort of things and, and help mom and dad get over that, that anxiety of well, moving. It can be overwhelming. Absolutely, it just, just the whole process of, putting a time limit mm -hmm. on moving and closing and selling their home. Mm -hmm. and Where do you start with all the well, I, well, you know, and that's a, I get that all the time. Where do you start with this process? But the neat thing is I have about 200 folks on my wait list. And we say if you want to make, be the, move to the Cypress within a three-year period, you should be on the wait list. It's my hope that those folks who have been on the wait list for three years, that they're in the start thought right. process of getting decluttering and doing the power washing and updating their home mm -hmm. and maybe contacting a realtor. Right. The neat thing about my folks moving into the Cypress, you know, their average age around 75, and we have folks on either side of that number, is that, you know, they pretty much maintain their home. They're not, they're not, it's not a knee-jerk reaction like right. all of a sudden I have to, you know, update the kitchen, update the bathrooms or paint. They've been kind of keeping up with that sure. all along. Oh, yeah. So, um, but I guess the first thing is to you know, get on the wait list and then start the process of looking down the road within three years. And I know you, obviously you're located on Hilton Head, so you have people moving just from Hilton Head into the Cyprus, but you also have people relocating from other parts of the country, right? You, uh, we do. Uh, um, 
Seventy uh, percent are from the are. Uh, Beaufort County, okay. Low Country area, um, and then we have about you know the thirty percent. Believe it or not, I've tracked that. That um, that those are folks who have children that live here, and the children are asking their parents to move to the Cypress closer to them. Sure. How great is that? That's perfect. Yeah. And yep. that has worked out because so now so it's a double whammy. I have the children's support. Yep. And then I have the parent support, and it's a great combination. That is awesome. And speaking of geographical areas, um, Carrie, I know we've talked about this in the past. Your area that you serve are, would be what, like Bu Beaufort County? Well, and yeah, Pruitt Health, Home Health. Um, we cover the state of South Carolina. Okay. Um, in this area, we cover, this office is called the Low Country Office. Okay. And I personally cover Hilton Head. Bluffton, Jasper County, okay. and then I've got a counterpart, Travis, who you've done the show with a few sure. times. He covers um, kind of Beaufort proper, and then Hampton and Colleton counties. So that's kind of our reach, but um, we are in most counties in this state. Are we you have, outside of South Carolina too, as a company, or just? As yes. A, oh, okay. We, our company originated in Georgia, okay. and it started out in 1969, I believe, in Tacoa, Georgia, with one nursing home. Wow. And from there, they expanded and just started building nursing homes. And then later on, they got into the acquisition business and would buy nursing homes. And we branched out to home health um, probably about six years ago. Right. So it's you know we're trying to provide that continuum of care. Uh, we do have a nursing home in Savannah, Georgia. We have one in Estill and one in Walterboro. Okay. okay. So now, do you, do you have in those those do you do as far like memory care things like that? Like we're talking about the Cypress, or is it mainly just skilled type nursing? Um, we don't specifically have a program for memory care. Okay. Uh, we obviously work with a lot of patients mm -hmm. that have memory challenges, sure. um, Alzheimer's, dementia, um, even just forgetfulness and whatnot. Um, so. You are, I guess you could say our um, different disciplines are skilled in working with those types of patients, but we don't have a specific program for improvement. Um, we do have a, um, our speech therapist will work with cognitive function. Right. Um, that's one skill that they have. Um, they also work with, of course, uh, a lot of stroke patients, um, you know, patients who are having trouble swallowing, having trouble speaking. They will work with them to get their diction better, um, you know, make sure that they can swallow their food, make sure that, you know, they're not taking too big of bites. Um, so that's one function of our speech therapist. They also work on, like I said, cognition. And um, we bring them in to help with fall risk patients. Um, you know, I think Travis kind of put it best once when he said, if your mind's not telling your leg to put your foot down, you're a fall risk. Exactly. So yeah. um, they'll assess the patient and work with them on something like that as well. You know, and in being in the home health and home care field, you know, that is the biggest thing we worry about is falls. I mean, it, once someone falls, it changes a lot of things for, for them, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, Having yeah. to go through that whole process of, you know, hospitals and sometimes surgeries and then rehab and, like you said, thank goodness for home health, right? And you guys, you deal with the same thing, I know. Oh, well, and our activities director, I mean, we have a personal trainer at the Cypress for Independent Living, and um, and one of her biggest classes um, um, is the is the balance class. Yeah. Um, just the other day, um, they used the Cypress Hall for their balance. There must have been 30 members in there balancing, um, you know, all age, from all age groups right. you know, um, of the, at the Cypress, and you know, balancing on a chair, standing, sitting, throwing a ball, catching a ball. Uh, it was, um, it's just great, and we all need to be working on our balance oh, yeah, at, at any, any age. age. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, because you're right. And you were talking about your foot just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Way to call me out. I know. My foot. I know. Quit playing too I much need, tennis, I right? Know, I need, yeah, too much tennis and I'm not balanced. But you didn't my fall feet. though, totally. No. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's <laughs> hope yeah, not. Speaking of the disciplines, I know because I work with a lot of social workers, and that 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 job is 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 not understood sometimes. Carrie, give us a little idea of what your social worker would do for you. Well, we have a social worker, and what they do is they will assess the situation at home, mm -hmm. and some of these patients they're not in an environment like I said that's conducive to rehabilitation or even sometimes their own safety. Now you have to understand too; it's not just the patient, but it's their families. Um, often when a family member sees their parent, their health start to degrade, it's hard on them. Um, often it involves a lot of their time. 
And um, it, that can be a situation that can turn for the worse for both the patient and their families. Family. It's very hard on all of them. So what we'll do is assess the situation, uh, you know, look at long-term care, look at some Medicaid options. Right. Um, can we get the patient you know, are they eligible for Medicaid? Can they go to a long-term care facility where the family knows that that patient's gonna be cared for 24 hours a day, and then they can kind of relax, sort of resume their normal life. Um, so that's one function of our social worker. Um, you know, make sure that there's not a neglectful or abusive situation at home. Um, look at all the community resources, you, like you were talking about, what you supply with all of your residents at the Cypress, there's community resources out there, you know, Meals on Wheels, for instance. A lot of these patients, they can't cook their own food. Some of them, maybe the best they can do is open a can of ravioli or put something in the microwave. Some of them might not be able to do that. And after a while, their kids have to go back to work. Then you have a situation where the patient's not getting nutrition. And right, well, Sorry, guys, we're out of time again. What? I know, it went fast. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Carrie, thank you so much for joining Thanks. us. Right. Becky, thank you so much for thank joining for us. And please take a moment, if you will, email us any email comments you may want to give us, questions you may have for us. And thank you for joining us here on the Senior Network, where senior care experts come together. We'll see you the next time. <music>